there will be no shortage of moms across the US opening gifts like flowers and cards on Mother's Day, but the foremost meaningful thing they open just could be their arms for a much needed hug. The COVID-19 pandemic put a true damper on the annual celebration of moms last year. Even beyond Mother's Day, moms and grandmothers went without hugging or seeing their loved ones face to face for long periods of your time. Related, seniors anticipate spending Mother's Day with family after a difficult year apart. Susan Lindenbaum, a 105-year-old grandmother who lives during a Ulster facility in California, is one among many moms who found herself physically stopped from family throughout 2020. She told Fox 11A. She didn't know when she'd be ready to be within the same space as her daughter and grandchildren again. Last year was so hopeless then very frightening and terrifying and sad. I couldn't see my daughter. I did see her through the door. We threw kisses but aside from that, we couldn't touch. We couldn't hug, Lindenbaum explained. I could throw kisses to them, with tears, it had been terrible. I'm 105 years old. Last year, I used to be sure it had been my last and it had been one more reason for the tears. It's such a rotten ending but my mood has elevated considerably. This year, because of three FDA authorized vaccines, Mother's Day are often safely conducted face to face. Which suggests moms like Lyndon Baum can have all the hugs and kisses they need, assuming each party is vaccinated. Guidance from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention allows for little gatherings indoors for vaccinated people. Non-vaccinated people are still encouraged to socially distance and wear masks publicly. Related, what the CDC guidelines for fully vaccinated people mean for your family. According to the CDC, quite 151 million Americans have received a minimum of one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine and quite 112 million are fully vaccinated. Nearly 44% of Yank adults are fully vaccinated. And that percentage grows even higher when isolating people 65 and older. In the months since the shots began getting into arms, the U.S. has seen drastic improvement to the state of the pandemic within the country. The number of daily COVID-19 cases plummeted, as did the speed of hospitalizations and deaths. Though consistent with data from Johns Hopkins University, the country still has the foremost confirmed cases within the world. Its pace of vaccination has allowed some glimpses of normalcy to return. Many states are rolling back safety protocols enacted before vaccines became available. Restaurants are increasing capacity and public events are announcing in-person plans after a year of virtual events, which is why many moms are wanting to get out of the house this year. With all the progress America has made recovering from the pandemic, Dr. Anthony Fossey predicted even more progress before Mother's Day 2022. I hope that next Mother's Day, we're getting to see a dramatic difference than what we're seeing immediately. I believe that we'll be about as on the brink of back to normal as we will Fossey told ABC News. Fossey, a key medical advisor to President Joe Biden, said that progress comes with conditions. We need to confirm that we get the overwhelming proportion of the population vaccinated, he said.